And it's all because of all of you. Uh, I couldn't be doing any of this without you. Well, I, I could be doing eBay. <music> Hey YouTube friends, how's everybody doing today? My name is Roy and welcome to RK Treasure Center. I've only got two items going out today. That's it, that's all I sold. So they're gonna be real easy to find and they're both gonna be in these buckets here. This one is the first item and this is a brand new seat belt. It's for a wheelchair and it sold for $19.99 plus the buyer paid the shipping. So let me go set this down. So the next item is in here in this tub, and it's gonna be right here on top because I just got through posting it and listing it on eBay. And what this is is a pop rivet tool. Um, I had a couple extra pop rivet tools lying around, and uh, now with everything going on in the world, it's a good time to go through and clean out your closets and your drawers and junk drawers and see what you got lying around and while I was going through some tubs I walked by my toolbox and realized let me go through and look through it and sure enough I got I I got twos and threes and fours and fives of tools I don't need and this was one of them it's an old Bostwick uh, pop rivet tool so I took it and and it sold for $14.99 free shipping and uh, it'll go out first class so set that down over there you get my lights on so uh that's all that i have going out um yesterday wasn't much better of a day i didn't even record it but i only had three items go out yesterday well i got these two items wrapped up ready to go to the post office um and i'm gonna go ahead and tell you what the three items i sold yesterday were uh since i'm gonna do a couple of videos a week i'm not gonna do a video for each day of only selling a couple items so today i'm gonna tell you what three items i sold yesterday Got my little paper printed off because so I can remember. But uh, yesterday I sold, oh, it just got through talking about it in a video. And I sold one of the uh, Doom T Rex fingerlings, uh, untamed. Uh, matter of fact, I showed them they were in a box back over there. They were a retail arbitrage item. I think I paid $4 a piece for them. I thought I was going to do real good. I sold a few of them before Christmas. Well, I guess I talk about it in, a, in one sell. I sold it for $4.95 and the buyer paid the shipping. The second item that sold yesterday was a set of four lobster claw seafood claw crackers. I guess if you want to call them that. They're for cracking open crab legs or lobster tails. I picked them up at a thrift store. I didn't pay very much for them. I might have only paid $1.99. Anyway, they're... They were really good, clean, looked new, sold them for $11.95, and the buyer paid the shipping. The third item that I sold was actually a mistake, but that's okay because the buyer got a great deal. Um, again, while going through my death pile, I looked at other things, and I came across this old fuel pump uh, hose line. It was for an old boat I used to have. I never used it. It was a spare line. Uh, it has a little pump on it, the primer pump to start the fuel Anyway, uh, it was brand new, still in the package, uh, never used it. I don't even have, the, have a boat anymore. So uh, I took it and listed it for $12.99. Now, a lot of times when I do my listings, and you have to be careful of this, uh, I use my phone and the eBay app, they update every once in a while. Well, the last time, I guess, when it updated, uh, the eBay app, it's made it so that when you do a listing, if you don't pay attention to what you're clicking on, if you did a... Uh, Free shipping, especially if you just got through listing an item and you put down free shipping on, on one. And the next item you want to put down and charge the buyer shipping, it won't automatically update. So it'll still all it'll it'll remain on free shipping. And that's what this one did. So I sold it for $12.99 free shipping. I mailed it out. It cost me about $7.50 to mail out. So after fees, I probably made, I don't know if I was a calculator, I probably made 50 cents. <laughs> So that was, you know, that was my fault. Uh, but make sure that if you're using your phone for doing listings or any time, just make sure you're checking to make sure you're, whether you're going to do free shipping or whether you're charging shipping. Make sure that the correct box is marked so you get it, you get it correctly done. All right. And that's what I got to show you. I just left uh, the post office and this is what I wore inside. No, so my daughter made me these masks 
me and my wife um it's got it's double layered it's got filter you put in there um it's they're really nice i think uh, probably get a little bit of flack from that saying that uh, some people are saying that it's crazy it's not a i guess a real tight mask to wear but i just want everybody to be safe if you feel like you need to wear a mask wear one when you go out in public or anywhere you go uh let's all just think about each other's safety it's not so much maybe your own as it's everybody else's so uh um yeah anyway let me get back to the ebay treasure center well i've been busy posting a lot of items and basically what i'm posting is out of this tub down here it has a bunch of purses in there i picked up a whole bunch of purses computer bags and different things and since everything's going on it's been sitting in my death pile so i've been working on it plus i've been watching a little bit of shed flips with lonnie and uh listening to what he has to say he's been this one he's answering viewer questions he's got some good questions and answers so if you don't watch lonnie over at shed flips check him out he's pretty good the other thing i've been doing is i had to come up with a system for my purses and this is a vera bradley purse um i just got fishing line which i don't know if you can see it or not but i got fishing line little uh paper clip and it holds it and then that way it gives it some good lighting there's a little bit of shadowing behind it but it's got to get a little bit of good lighting and it'll hold there while i take a picture uh, whenever you do purses if you any of you ever sell purses what i always find the best thing to do is measure the bottom that way and put that in your listing then measure the width of the purse from center in the middle and then some some purses depending on shape you might want to do the top also you want to do top to bottom and you want to do the depth or the width of the purse so you, you know how much can go in there usually it's about an average of four inches that's usually the common so you don't have to put that in there you really don't have to put any of this and the other thing that i measure is always the strap down to the zipper so when i whenever i do my listing that's uh those are the dimensions i put in a purse it really alleviates a lot of questions and women know what kind of purse they want they know everything i learned a lot more about persons than i thought i'd ever want to know i learned about just regular straps and bohos and cross bodies and oh let me tell you i learned all kinds of things about purses i didn't think i'd ever know about a purse but there's a lot to learn but this is a really nice Vera Bradley. This one right here is actually a retired model. The uh, blue tan paisley. And uh, it's got the signature Vera Bradley on it. And it's got right here the Vera Bradley. And it's it's really nice. Now, on the inside, let me, hold on a second. Let me get the camera moving a little bit. It's got pockets. Now, one thing I do whenever I'm also taking pictures is I took a just a regular poly bag oh, this is a bubble poly bag filled it up with uh down here i've got these little air pockets and uh so i made two sizes i make a large one and i made a small one for smaller bags but uh what i do is i just take this let me see if i can do this one-handed i may have to not do it one-handed eh. Yeah. Hold on one second. I'm going to get you in the mix. All right. Zip that up. Zip that up. I probably could have put the small one in there too. But anyway, it gives it, it gives a little form and a little thickness. I could have, I probably could have put the smaller one in there to give it just a little bit more thicker, but you don't want to overextend it. Whenever you sell a bag, a tote bag, a duffel bag, pillowcase clothing or whatever you're trying to describe and you want a backpack and you want to stuff it with stuff stuff it so that it's natural don't try to overstuff things when you overstuff things it just looks too big and bulky and i've seen that in pictures but when you do it just do it just kind of natural so it just kind of sits up looks natural doesn't have to be perfect but like i said it no matter what you sell anything that you have that's going to be like that any kind of bag tote bag backpack or whatever just fill it so it's natural and uh anyway over here is my tub i created new shelves i got faith hope and believe and if you know my other shelves or my other buckets and stuff they usually have alphabetic stuff on it well i was running out of the letters i've i've gone all the way up to x 
So instead of, or yeah, instead of Y and Z, I did faith, hope, believe. I didn't do the bottom shelf yet. And I'm filling up this tub right here. I've kind of cleaned out some stuff. And this is all the purchases in there that I've done so far. And that's quite a bit. So anyway. Um, yeah. So let me go ahead and get back to what I was doing and working on that. Oh, and I'll go ahead and show you. Once you get that, and the, the reason I hang it up here and, and do it that way is because then you get a photograph like this. Yeah, that's a pretty good photograph. So that's why I do it. Hopefully it's right here where, where you can see it. I'm going to try to edit it and put it in there. But that's why I do that. So I finished listing all the purses, bags, and totes that I have. I put them in these tubs over here, which I showed you. But I did change it. Instead of being a hope and faith shelf and believe shelf, I did hope and faith. And I just hadn't moved believe to a tub yet. And I got to come up with a couple other names. And I'm working on the uh, unlisted inventory I got. And if you want to know where my unlisted inventory is, that's what's in these little tubs up in here. Um, I finished these two already. I've got these four to go. There's things with golf balls. I probably, I picked them up. They were given to me and I'm not going to probably sell them because they were just kind of like range golf balls. I'll probably just donate them and give them away. But uh, that's what I'm working on. Oh, I picked up one other thing. I got this recently. A Monopoly man. Do we look alike? No, we don't look alike. Anyway, I like the Monopoly man character. I think he's pretty cool. I don't I don't know what it is about the Monopoly man, but I've always enjoyed the Monopoly man. So I, I picked him up as a character. Anyway, yeah, another story. So yesterday evening, I was really happy and excited. I saw this. And that really made me happy. I thank everyone out there. I appreciate all the subscribers out there. Y'all are y'all mean the world to me. I can't be there's just no possible way to be more humble enough. I hit the 950 subscriber. I was so happy. I put it on Instagram. I was just ecstatic. This morning I got up, looked at the morning news on my phone, came out here, did little things, looked at the computer, and then I saw this number. I lost two subscribers overnight. I didn't even post a video yesterday. I don't know what happened. Anyway, that's okay. I'm sure I'm going to get two more subscribers back to reach that 950 mark. And I'm getting close to that 1000 mark. And it's all because of all of you. Uh, I couldn't be doing any of this without you. Well, I, I could be doing eBay without you, but I couldn't be putting it on videos. And I know I haven't been putting out a lot of uh, videos lately and probably not some really good ones. Uh, but I got a couple ideas that I'm about to work on. So I think next week I'm going to put out some uh, instructional type videos. Um or informational type videos, I guess I should say. I got a couple of good ideas coming up. So uh, stay tuned for next week. Uh, I think you're going to be really happy with some of the videos that I have. All right. So that's all that I've got. That's all there is. There's not much anymore. Today's kind of it. I got more things to go do and more things to work on. Plus edit this video. So when garage sale, thrift store, and flea market season comes back around because of what's going on, then all you resellers out there, find it, sell it, profit. To everyone, please be safe, take care, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.